Hello, and welcome to the Fallen Sage. This is a uh, pretty fun game, actually. <laughs> um, so I need to head to Kakariko. I think is that little town over there. Pee 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 hats. Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. God. I still remember that commercial. That old Legend of Zelda commercial was ridiculous. But I loved it anyway. Even though it was beyond terrible and ridiculous. So. Oh, there's Hyrule up there. Kingdom of Hyrule. And this, I do believe, is Kakariko Village. There's bound to be someone here that knows a way into the Kokiri Forest. We should start at the bar. Everyone hangs out there in this dust bowl of a town. So, Twilight Princess music for Kakariko Village. That's pretty nice. Locked. So any place that isn't important always comes up as just like locked. So unfortunately there tend to be quite a few of those. But that's alright. What's that? What the heck? It's not <laughs> Dusty Dog. Grr. Okay. Alright, just stay calm. Most of the people here are likely drunk and won't recognize us. Is there anything I can get you? I was wondering if you happen to know someone who can get us away into the Kokiri Forest. The forest, eh? Well, you happen to have come across the best of luck. I know several ways into the forest, but only one may be possible right now. Speak, please. Five rupees, ten rupees, no rupees. Thank you there. I'll tell you now the quickest way. The path down south is blocked by a recent rock slide. It should clear up in a few weeks. But up north of the city is the path to Death Mountain. The passage is there. You must go to the Goron capital city, and there is a cave that may that many use to use uh, that many used to use to travel between there and the forest. Sorry, I am not very good at reading sometimes. Thank you for this info, info, miss. I always admire a lass that behaves like a good girl. You flatter me, Seer. Here, drinks on me. Thanks, but we don't have time. We need to get going. Alright, please come again, sir. Uh oh. Someone recognized us. Now we have to go to the Goron capital in sub zero temperatures. Now we have to go to the Grand Capital and set zero temperatures. Wonderful. Alright, so that's where this path comes in. Go up here, and this little guard is eyeing us, watching where we're going. Halt! In the name of Akazu! Make a dash for the minecarts! So this part is actually kind of epic. Because like they do this whole like minecart thing. <laughs> I love how that one blows up randomly. But like it I mean just watch the scene. This is pretty awesome, you know? So like, here we are in these minecarts like running away from these guys. And <laughs> it, it it's just awesome, I guess, you know? It's like he actually put a lot of work into making sure that this section did work. I mean, he didn't do a lot of work on some of the other sections to make sure they worked right, but this section he did. And so that's pretty awesome, honestly. So... Yay! Brilliant. Let's not do that anytime soon. I agree. I feel really sick now. My stomach hurts so bad. That wasn't so bad. What are you all complaining about? Guys, stop this. We need to focus on getting to the forest. I knew today was a bad day to wear this. I feel like I'm gonna hurl. 
Leah is right. We should rest here for the night and then continue north to the frozen city. I highly doubt a Kazu will send his soldiers after us anymore. Knowing him, he's already got something special surprised for us on the way. Enough. Let's get some rest and hurry along our way. Yay! Here we go. So, this is interesting. Um, the uh, As they mentioned before, all of like Death Mountain has been turned into like a frozen wasteland. Um, I think that's... Um, wait a minute. What happened? Uh, well, I have become Link. <laughs> Oops. Guard capital is over in that cave. That way leads to a frozen grave, Lear. I have suddenly become Link. Alright, let's see how long this glitch lasts. <laughs> it's so beautiful here. Are you crazy? I'm freezing. This place is death incarnate. Nothing but a frozen relic of what was once the Goron people. So, I guess I'm just Link now. And now it will be your frozen grave as well. Damn it, start again, you clown. <laughs> you have no clue how entertained you have made me. Making fools out of my pathetic soldiers. Why don't you come out and show yourself, Akazu? Are you afraid of me? Afraid? <laughs> no, no, no. I just enjoy toying with you, Kazak. The time has come to end the dominance the Hylians have had over this world. It is their turn to become subjugated as the Goma have been. It is time for a new era where the Goma become the leaders in evolution. You're not going to get very far with so many Queen Gomas in your way. There are even more. The, there are those even more powerful than the queens. Indeed, even the Queen Goma have another caste greater than them. You're trying to say there's a bigger Goma in control of the queens? Where do you think those lovely ladies get all their eggs from? A lady cannot have children on her own. Now can she? <laughs> Enough of this, Akazu. I don't care about some damn bugs. I'm gonna kill you here and now. You will try. The more you wander about, the closer I become to breaking free from these mortal bonds. Hey, I have a new level of abilities. Yay, Paralyzer Arrow. And moral speech, increase agility, speed, and evasion. Let's go ahead and throw that out. Uh, our typical sharp and st stone strategy real fast. And I have to unlock the boss because he is paralyzed. So there's the thing. <laughs> I feel so bad. Actually, I don't feel bad at all. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it, if you build bosses, if you build characters who have abilities like paralyzed and stuff, and the bosses get paralyzed and can't do anything, I mean, really, you don't have anyone to blame but your own self for coding it like that way. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, there's really nothing you can do. It's just like when I have like poison, it's like, it's really bad to give your character poison and then have like bosses that have things that they're supposed to do, but then like they're also like poisoned and so they like, dra it drains their health really badly. So, I mean, honestly, impressive, but not nearly enough. Ouch, that didn't hurt really at all. 
Uh, I say, Ariel, uh, let's do moral speech again. Let's go ahead and use heal force on himself. He's the one with the least health. And once again, he's paralyzed. Uh, like I said, you only really have yourself to blame if you, if your bosses are built so they can be paralyzed, like that. So, so there really is not anything that can be done there, you know. If you're the one that chooses to do that, then I mean that's what's gonna happen. When I was building RPG Maker stuff, um, that was a thing. Um, I was like, yeah, you know, I made sure that my bosses didn't have like the ability to be paralyzed and stuff. In fact, I actually had a D&D &D campaign I was playing once. Where my players got angry at me because they all realized that they could just stun lock any boss. Like, they had a beholder once and he got stun locked. And now, what the heck is going on here with this dude? Uh, well, he's only got 6,000 and he's dizzy at the moment. Okay. So, he's not paralyzed anymore. He probably is going to be here in just a second. <laughs> oh, I lost my sharpen and my moral boost. Alright. Only so much that can be done about that. Mute Omega. Oh, that actually sucks for poor Zeline. Um, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna use hammering. And a uh, green potion over here. But I'm actually not dealing that much damage anymore because my sharpen's gone. Oh, that's it. As you can see, some of these bosses are kind of obnoxious. <laughs> You're dead. Lear, your friend Link. I will have fun rending him apart. No, come back here. That coward. Lear, if we hurry, maybe we can find Link in the forest before it's too late. I mean, he's standing right there! Alright, let's keep going then. It seems like I had the same glitch the last time I played this. Where I was like, what's this path? And I walked out and it turned me into Link. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just Link now. For like, ever. And, and you really are. Like, it doesn't go away until... Later on, frozen salad. Alright, there must be another door to go through. This one. Here I come, Link. I, I hope you're safe. Alright, time to switch over to Link's side. Akazu, why has your filth come before me? Ahem, filth, my queen? You are Hylian scum. Filth, you may have helped me, but, it's not, but it does not change what you are. Me, a Hylian? I am far more than that. <laughs> you took the... You look like the rest of your pointy-eared freaks. Thelonious, come here. Yes, my lord. Tell this beast what you've discovered. Yes, sir. My queen, I am Thelonious, an astronomer who studies the heavens. I, ta I take that you know of the legend of the Goma God, the Cycloptic Warbringer, yes? I know of this, yes. Continue. Well, I have studied the stars, the movement of heavenly bodies, and I believe there is a way to bring him to this world. Nonsense. 
the Goma God left this world when the Hylians drove him away. True. Such a being was destroyed by the Hylians, but Kazu here may be the reincarnation of him. Blah! You expect me to believe that? So this Hylian here is somehow the reincarnation of an arachnid omnipotent? That is correct. I refuse to believe such nonsense. Then you have served your purpose, my queen. Felonius, take care of her. You think you can kill me, Hylian? <laughs> heavens, oh heavens, oh heavens. Bless me your might. Summon the fires and fury of a wicked meteorite. A cousin kills Queen Goma. Actually, that's what that particular map is named. It's all capital capital letters. Link, hold up. The Death Mountain range is only a bit ahead. It will start off quite rocky, but soon turn into ice. In certain places, it gets so cold a Goron can't even survive the temperatures. I said I would only follow you until you reach the mountains, but now I must ask of something else. I want to travel with you and find a way to get revenge on Akazu. He unleashed the Goma in the capital. He took away my... my... Let's keep going. Alright, so Link's path goes over this way as opposed to the left path that uh, Lear took. So now we take a step back in time to where Link was, and now we get to follow his path. The weather is nice here, yes? Save it while you can. Once we go through the caves, it, it turns to ice. Indeed. <sighs> you can need a lot of dispel herbs if you want to survive Tech Tight's paralyzed attack. And now we have a whole bunch of items. Uh, Funny enough, um, we're still carrying all of the items that uh, Lear and them had. So, technically, I mean, we have a bunch of stuff here. <laughs> so, but I do think I will pick up a few of the Dispel Herbs just in case. Um, I think I can just sell these red potions now and just replace them with uh, high red potions now. And we'll get a few of the high green potions as well. That'll help. Yay! We have Mountain Tektite Larva and Mountain Tektite Mother. Yay! So much fun. Uh, that said though, um, we are about to make our way up Death Mountain. So I think this is probably actually a pretty safe spot to end the episode off at. Um, so with that, I hope you all have enjoyed. Um, and uh, we'll continue up Death Mountain in the next episode. So see you later.